afternoon, Your Honor. This is case number IT9510I, the prosecutor versus Renko Sesic. Thank you, Madam Register. Good afternoon to everyone. Um, may I first have the appearances for the prosecution? Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Mark Harmon. To my right is Mr. Vladimir Chokolevsky, and to his right is Mr. Tom Hannes, and to my left is Susan Grogan. Thank you, Mr. Harmon. May I have the appearances for the defense? Microphone, please. Could you? Your Honor, and my learned friends, I'm Vojislav Nedic, attorney at law from Belgrade. Mr. Ranko Cesic has appointed me his defense attorney. My professional career goes back 25 years. And in essence, it may be divided into two parts. In the first part, I was a judge. Um, I, um, I yeah, will sorry, sorry. easily accept yes. that you have an outstanding career. Um, I don't think that at this very moment we need any further information about that. So um, you are Mr. Nedic, and next to you is sitting. Um, I think your, both your names is Nedic. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, just in order to, uh, one of you is Wojcislaw Nedic, you. that's you, and yes. uh, next to you is Radoslav Nedic. Yes. Well, thank you very much. <coughs> um, we will proceed today uh, with the initial appearance of the accused Ranko Sisic. Um, let me first ask you, I'd forgotten, but can you hear me, Mr. Sisic, in a language you understand? Yes, I can. Uh, thank you very much. May I ask you a few uh, questions? Uh, first, could you please give your full name for the record? Yes, we have technical problems as far as I... It might be... Yes, do you now understand the interpretation of what I'm saying? Yes. Um, Mr. Sejic, could you please give your full name for the record? I'm Ranko My name is Ranko Cesic. Do you have any nicknames or is this the name always used? Only my name is used. I have no special nickname. Uh, could you tell us your date of birth? In September 1964. I didn't hear the what date in September, but I might not have listened well. But which day in September? The 5th of September, 1964. Thank you. Um, what was the last address you resided on before you were transferred to the tribunal? Vinogradska Street 35D in Belgrade. Um, 
Mr. Sejic, have you received a copy of the indictment in a language you understand? Uh, and have you read it? Yes, Your Honor, I have received it and I have read it. Were you able to discuss the content of the indictment with counsel? Yes. May I then take it that you understand the content of it? Yes. Mr. Sesic, uh, at this initial appearance, you're entitled to plead in respect of this indictment, guilty or not guilty, to each count. But you also may do it at a later stage. Have you consulted with your counsel whether you'd enter a, your pleas today or at a later stage? I have decided to enter my pleas today. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I was informed, but uh, counsel would correct me if I'm not well informed, that um, the accused waived his right to have the indictment read out uh, loudly in its entirety. That is true. So, Mr. Sesic, I don't understand that you waived your right to have read out your uh, indictment in its full text, so we'll just refer to the individual counts when we continue. Um, we are talking about the second amended indictment, in which is not only pertaining to you, but also to someone who has already um, stand trial here in The Hague, uh, Mr. Gilicic. You have been arrested on the basis of a warrant of arrest which was uh, issued on the 18th of April in 2001. Um, <coughs> And may I invite you to, on each count that you plea, plead guilty or not guilty, and I'll confront you with each of these counts. Uh, the numbers are the numbers as they appear in the indictment, and therefore we do not start with number one. Um, count two charges you with the murder of five persons that was allegedly committed in May 1992 uh, and it charged you with this murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty to that count? Not guilty. Count three charges you, and that is cumulatively, with the same murders, but now characterized as crimes against humanity. Do you plead guilty or do you plead not guilty? Not guilty. Count 24 of the indictment charges you with the murder of a person with the name Sado in May 1992 as a violation of the laws and the customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 25 of the indictment charges you, again cumulatively, with the murder of this same person, Sado, but now as a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 26 charges you with the murder of Mirza Glavovich in May 1992 as a violation of the laws and customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Uh, I didn't 
understand the translation well, but it's not guilty. Thank you. Count twenty seven charges you again cumulatively with the same murder of Mirsad Klavovic, but now characterized as a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 28 of the indictment charges you with the humilia uh, humiliation and degrading treatment of two persons in May 1992 as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 29 charges you with these same acts, but now characterized as rape, which includes other forms of sexual assault as a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 34 of the indictment charges you with the murder of Nihat Yazarevich in May 1992 as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 35 charges you cumulatively with the same murder but now characterized as a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 42 of the indictment charges you with the murder of two unknown men in May 1992 as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count 43 charges you, again cumulatively, with the same murders characterized now as a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Thank you. Please sit down. Otherwise <clears throat> now, would you please take note that Mr. Cesic had pleaded not guilty to all the counts um, in his respect in the indictment. Um, the registrar will be instructed to fix a date, although it might not be appropriate to do it right away, but will at a later stage fix a date for trial. And you, Mr. Sesic, you will have to remain in custody until further order in the detention facilities of the UN here in The Hague. Um, is there any specific matter the prosecution would like to raise at this very moment? No, Your Honor, there is not. There's not. Thank you, Mr. Harmon. Um, is there any matter the defense would like to raise at this very moment? Uh, no, Your Honor. Let me then <coughs> ask you, um, Mr. Cesic, is everyone who should be informed about your presence here in the tribunal at this moment, is he or she informed? I mean, your family or uh, the diplomatic um, agency representing your country in The Hague, is everyone aware of your presence here or is there any specific need to inform specific people about your presence here? They have all been informed, Your Honour. Yes, so then no specific action is necessary to be taken in that respect. As far as your detention as such is concerned, and I'm not asking it just to you, but perhaps also uh, an answer could be given by your counsel, are there any specific issues in respect of the uh, arrest, transfer or detention which should be raised at this moment? They're not? No. Please be seated, uh, Mr. Cesic. Um, 
then I may remind the prosecution uh, that they have obligations under Rule 66 of the Rules of Proceeding and Evidence that to disclose um, within 30 days all the supporting material to the uh, indictment. If I may comment, yes. uh, Your Honor, we will disclose today the supporting material in the language the accused understands today. Yes. We will disclose uh, eight witness statements to the accused, seven of which are translated in a language that he understands. We have two expert reports that we will be filing very shortly in this case as well. So your disclosure obligations are um, <laughs> taken very seriously, not only as far as the content is concerned, but also as far as the time limits are concerned. That's correct. Um, if you would like to uh, file any preliminary motions, you'd have to do that within 30 days. Um, it's 30 days on from the moment that you have received all of the supporting material in accordance with the rules. So it's not from this date, but as soon as you've uh, received all the supporting material, I take it that if it's given in portions that you indicate clearly at what moment all the supporting material has been provided to the defense. We will provide all of the supporting material today. That's today. So yes. then uh, the your 30 days time limit starts today at least if later on the day you receive all the supporting material. Um, I further inform you that a status conference um, will be scheduled within 120 days, a status conference which um, serves an expeditious preparation um, of the case. Um, is there anything else you'd like to address the court? Same for the prosecution. We have nothing further, Your Honor. Yes, then I'll adjourn the proceedings at this moment until further order. <coughs> All rise, Vaivulevi.